Well, that was embarrassing. My favorite cardio screaming. Welcome to Fit Facts, where we bring you health and fitness directly from rock and metal musicians. Today, we've got metal vocalist, vocal coach, and recording artist Mara Lisenko from Latvia. She's been singing for over 20 years and is currently in the metal band called Mara. She has an incredible vocal range. I don't belong here is endorsed by big names in the industry. Mara Lysenko. She's a phenomenal vocalist, extremely powerful, and can hold her screams for an extreme amount of time. Anna's performed with Sepultura, Bloody Wood, and more. Heads up, you're gonna learn a lot from this one. Hello, my name is Mara Lysenko. I'm a metal vocalist, and today, together with the gorgeous Ramona, we will tell a story on how metal vocals can change the life for the better. I was never a fit kid. I was more of an ill kid. I probably spent more time in hospitals than I did in schools. So nope, I was the one skipping the sports classes and not being physically active at all. So I started to do fitness very late in my 30s. And the turning point was me performing on stage, running around gently and running out of the breath. So I could not sing. I was, ah. <laughs> I had a really difficult time sustaining a note. Well, that was embarrassing enough, so I decided it's time to change. I started to do cardio, core training, strength training, and with my mad scientist approach, I just wanted to see the evidence. Can fitness really make a change for my vocals? And it did, big time. The rest is history. I started to do fitness on a regular basis to become the best vocalist I can be. This just goes to show that it's never too late to start taking care of your health and fitness. I started weight training with a coach in my late 30s and in one year I completely transformed my body. You're gonna have people saying, ah, I'm not in my 20s anymore, what's the point? Fuck that shit. Age is overrated. For, for territory. So touring is like a survival school for an extreme vocalist, not only due to the high demands of a live show, but also lack of sleep, speaking over loud music, shitty food, and so on and so forth. When I went on my first tour, I did a very lengthy preparations together with my teacher and it worked well. Every day I was working out as well, so when I came home, I was fitter than ever. Usually it takes me about two weeks to prepare for a live show, either that's a tour, either a single show, my preparations are the same. So I need to prepare my voice to handle the demands of the whole live show and as well work physically because I'm a crazy performer. I run around, I headbang and do all kinds of stuff. So yeah, you need to be very strong for that. <laughs> my favorite preparation exercise is what I call cardio screaming. So I take my favorite form of cardio training, that's a skipping rope, and I'm ready for a live show when I can scream and sing the full set while skipping a rope without running out of the breath. Cardio screaming, that was gold. Take note. When people see a great metal vocalist, they usually see one element, power. But that's not all it is. There's a great deal of relaxation. So this is such an important part about vocal training. Just as in physical training, form is important. Regularity is important. Pacing yourself is crucial. You cannot fake the power. You have to earn it. In other words, you have to build your voice over time with a good and efficient technique. So if you want to become a metal vocalist, build your voice over time. Think about taking smaller weights, work on the sound source, and then gradually, gradually add the power. Never ever go immediately for power. You blow out your voice. That makes perfect sense. You blow out your lower back if you just jump into really heavy deadlifts without first perfecting technique on how to brace your core, breathing correctly, and so many other nuances. Perfect each stage then level up. Mara actually has a growling and screaming course online, so she knows what she's talking about. Mary, 
I call myself a vocal athlete and the lifestyle choices that I have made might seem very strict but have been beneficial not only for my voice but for the health in general. I've been vegan for over 15 years, straight edge. I don't drink, smoke, use drugs. I do stupid things sober. I drink plenty of water, have enough sleep, so on and so forth. See, athletes know that taking care of their bodies is crucial. Vocalists should learn from that because essentially your instrument is not only your voice but the whole body. Because my intention always was to be the best metal vocalist I can be, I made some really good healthy choices along the way. I love that she says be the best vocalist I can be instead of be the best vocalist in the world. Comparing yourself to other people will only make your journey harder. Mara is not trying to be better than other vocalists, she's just trying to be better than her previous self. I feel like in this society we're not really allowed to express negative emotions. But if they get too intense, what do you do? Where do they go? I had a troubled childhood and teenage years, and just as many hurt people, I went on hurting others. And just when I was done with that, I started to go within and hurt myself. I went for many self-destructive behaviors. Then luckily metal music came along, and this genre was really welcoming me with all my intensive emotions and everything I was going through at that time. So when I put my headphones on, the whole world just faded away. And those vocalists who were singing to me, they've been through exactly the same experiences. They understood me. So they became my new friends. And right at that time, understanding the huge importance of the power of music, I made a decision for myself that one day I will pass it on. I will give this experience forward to another kid who's going through through the same experiences because I know too well what it's like to be voiceless. So I feel like it causes more suffering when we are avoiding pain, where we're just pushing it away. So instead, we have to just embrace it and go through it. We have to cry. We have to let all that anger out. And either you're listening to the music, either you're going to a mosh pit, either you're screaming or playing guitar, just let those emotions out. So that is why I feel like my Metal is so beneficial for mental health and metalheads generally are so nice people because we have this healthy outlet of such a negative emotions. I cannot agree more with this. Metalheads are really nice, calm people. Everyone's out to help each other. There's no jealousy or insecurity because we have a way to vent. If I didn't have metal, I'd probably be doing this. It almost feels like at the end of such video, I should say, stay strong, but I will say fall, crash, break, fail. That doesn't make you weak. The most importantly is that you get up and try again. You deserve a second chance, third chance fourth chance. Take as many chances as needed. Don't give up on yourself. Go and do something someone told you you cannot do. Not to prove them wrong. Do it for yourself. Much love to you. This was such unexpected advice, but I'm all for it. Through my interactions with Mara, she came across as such a kind and humble person. You can tell genuine people right off the bat, and that's Mara. I would love if you supported her journey. She's incredibly talented and she deserves it. I'll link her in the description. Now, go check out this other crazy talented guitarist of thrash death metal band Nervosa, Helena Cotina, right here. Yeah!